No, I'm going to start with the fingers. Fing the fingers, it's the, probably the process that takes more time. It took around 50 minutes to finish all the corrective range shape for the fingers. And the first thing I'm doing here is creating this range of motion. It's um, very useful on the fingers. I don't use it uh, on other parts of the, of the character. But here for the fingers, we have a lot of positions, a lot of uh, parts, like five fingers and three three bones for each finger so it's quite a lot of poses that you need to to handle so i don't want to miss any of them i want to have everything under control and i'm just doing this uh, range of motion so first i place all the fingers on the same positions and then using the dot ship i'm just going to offset all the um, po poses so i can access each pose one by one very easily. I'm also creating a combination pose that it's the, all the fingers on the fist pose. So I'm just going to check how it looks later. Now I'm just setting all my, my curves to step it just to be sure that there is no interpolation. Just creating a quick studio library pose for you so you can, or animation, so you can use it later. And now once the pose is done, I'm just preparing my shapes tool to start and starting with the first finger so I go one by one all the the fingers from the tip to the base just looking for a good balance between the squareness and shape of or roundness of the of the shape so I want to keep this appealing balance between the design of the character and the deformation now I'm gonna do the combination so this one it's uh, the combine of all three so I just want to push the like a little bit here the volume so when you you flex your finger it feels more like it's um, volume preservation compression there so that's something that is missing many many hands and looks like a, a little like a wire or something it's it's not very appealing so now I'm just moving to the next finger so I'm repeating the process just looking for a good balance also checking with the other finger so I, I have a good sense of um, like proportion between all the elements and now I'm repeating again so next bone just the knuckle there and again I'm just gonna make the combination and be sure that all these uh, elements combine together properly and has this nice feeling of volume and compression when when the finger is close and again so it's the process is over and over the same so don't forget any step so I'm just naming my positions with the name of the of the joint so from the tip it's L uh, for instance it's L2 2 and L2 1 and L2 0 so it's go 2 1 0 because the tip is the last one so it's inverted and last I do the the combine or combo that it's gonna take care of the balance when all three elements are in the in the art like trigger at the same time okay so I have my fingers there and I'm just moving now for the uh, thumb so here on the thumb I'm just trying to make a little more bony this part so it doesn't get so much round so it gets a better feeling and here for the last one I just want to keep again the volume in the interior of the of the hand so it looks nicer when we ex put this extreme pose probably we're not gonna use it that much but it's good to have it there now I'm just double checking everything and ensuring that that's uh, the position so now I'm just gonna start connecting the the joint so what I'm doing here it's uh, creating a little folder for the previous uh, triggers on the on the arm so I'm just creating this arm folder and now I'm creating this finger folder now one by one I just go back to my range of motion and connect with set driving keys so add the fingers or the joints that I'm using and one by one connecting and then connecting the, the combo you can see it's a very repetitive uh, process but it's important to keep focus on this because if you miss one and I, I maybe here in the speed up you don't see it but I do a little mistake at the end but um, yeah, it's very important to, to keep track and everything and be very focused. Now I'm just gonna organize all this and I need to be sure that uh, I can do my, my mirroring. So I just check it out that my symmetry template have these fingers and then the thumb. So I create all the mirrors. Now double checking that the combo 
it's already created when I do the mirror. So it's important to first the the corrective line shapes that are part of the combo and later do the combo. And that's it. We have it.